Welcome back everyone. This is an update about the oil market. WTI prices remain rather stable in past weeks. This is since our previous report and not much price action was observed, even though global economies have uplifted activities with production services increasing steadily, the negative impact suffered by the energy market in the past month seems to remain a major barrier to the industry's rebound. However, this report aims to explain some of the latest developments in the oil market, providing at the same time our personal opinion. First, we start with the weekly readings for the oil market that usually provide reasons for us to make possible assumptions. Starting with the release of last Friday's Baker Hughes weekly oil rig count that indicated that the closing of active oil rigs is still in process, the count indicated a drop of minus 7 rigs since the previous release, with the total US active rigs dropping to 199. Even though the data does not seem to produce a major reaction for the commodities price, the decrease of active oil rigs that has been stretching for over three months could be an indication that oil firms are in a difficult economic position or a lack of oil demand being the case. On the other hand, the EIA indicated through its weekly reading a plus 1.2 million barrel surplus, the second consecutive for June, while the AP very similarly released an even higher surplus of plus 3.9 million barrels, also the second consecutive for the month. In our previous report, we had made reference to fares over increased production when prices start picking up. However, the result of this buildup seemed to be keeping oil prices under pressure. Yet, from an economic longevity perspective, oil companies in the US need to produce in order to survive as we are seeing bankruptcies increasing in the past month. On another note, very positive news for the energy industry was announced yesterday as the International Energy Agency has set out a recovery plan to support the industry over the next three years. The IEA said that they have integrated energy policies into government responses and in the next three years they will be making $1 trillion annual investments to support growth but also reduce carbon emissions. The global energy industry has come under pressure since the COVID-19 outbreak and it is said that 3 million jobs could be lost. In our view, the investment will be part of a fiscal stimulus action performed by various governments but specifically for the energy sector. This could be the support that oil companies which were struggling financially and heading for bankruptcy may have been waiting for. Finally, OPEC's June 2020 report provided new information that traders may need to keep in mind as OPEC and its allies like Russia remain dominant forces in the oil market. In the group's view, Global oil demand is forecasted to decrease by minus 9.1 million barrels per day in 2020, which is a prediction remaining unchanged since the previous month's report. On the contrary, non-OPEC liquids production is expected to see an increase by 0.3 million barrels per day compared to the previous month's report and could drop by 3.2 million barrels per day on a year-to-year -year basis. Oil supply in 2020 is forecasted to show growth only in Norway, Brazil, Guyana and Australia. In 2020 demand, specifically for oil produced by OPEC, is forecasted to drop by minus 0.7 million barrels per day compared to the previous month, falling at 23.6 million barrels per day totally. Those were the fundamentals for the commodity. Please stay tuned for the technical analysis. Moving now to WTI's for our chart, as mentioned in our pra fundamental analysis, the commodity did not display significant market movements since our past report, thus we keep our technical levels unchanged. WTI has been trading in a sideways movement between our R139 resistance level and our S136.5 support level. We must note that the commodity broke above our, our 139 level on the 16th of June, only to return lower swiftly. Yet, if traders are in for an upward momentum and the WTI breaks above the R1 line, then the most probable target higher could be initially the R2, 41 and a half level. Even higher, we have the R3, 43, 45 line, noted as our highest resistance hurdle. In the opposite direction, if traders are in for a bearish appetite, then the commodity could approach and test the S1, 36 and a half line. Low, we have also noted the S2 33.75 hurdle as a possible target, and even lower, we have the S331 support level, 
which remains our ultimate target for a significant drop. Please note the RSI indicator below our chart displays the sideways motion prevention, but as it aims for the 70 level, some bullish tendencies could be present. In our view, a clear break above the $40 round number price could change our current sideways view into a bullish run. That should wrap it up. For more of us here at IronFX, best wishes for solid trading.